Hi, I'm Mervyn from Equitech. I'm here today to talk to you about ECU Connect, which is our new uh, free to download iPhone or Android app and its complementary ECU Connect Bluetooth vehicle interface, which connects to the vehicle's OBD socket. This can be purchased from Equitech tuners worldwide. We're going to talk specifically today about the Honda Civic version. It supports European, JDM, Australia and US versions. So after downloading the ECU Connect app from the App Store, we're now going to open it and it's already connected to the Bluetooth vehicle interface that's connected to the vehicle's OBD2 socket. The options on the screen here, we've got dealer locator. If we choose the dealer locator, we can see here um, local Equitech tuners here in the UK and you can filter that by vehicle. We've got archive. Archive's where the log files are stored that you record and also the performance analyzer test. And you can share these on social media, you can share them by text message, email, select multiple items, singular, and just send them to your tuner, whatever you want to do. And then we've got my car. We choose my car, Bluetooth, the Bluetooth interface is now talking to the engine ECU. It's detecting vehicle type, and also tell us if it's got Equitech Race ROM installed in the ECU. So we've got standard features, and these available to all um, Honda Civic owners, and then we've got the the race ROM specific features where you need Equitech race ROM programmed into the ECU. If we choose info at the top, we see ECM, this is the engine control module, and we go in and we can see that race ROM is installed and it does support the app. So that means that the race ROM features are installed in the ECU. The next feature on the list is the data login. Um, we select data login and we can see the standard diagnostic login parameters. What we can also see is the custom race ROM parameters, which are installed with the race ROM feature file. Here we can see speed density. These are only available if you've got race ROM in the ECU. If you want to add or remove the login parameters, you just simply select. Choose done, choose start, and we now start communicating with the engine ECU for data login. So it's now being saved to file. The login rate is shown at the bottom. It's currently logging around 27 hertz, so 27 times a second. If we choose landscape mode, we'll have min and max added and we can clear the min and max values as well if we want. If something happens while we're driving, we can mark the log file for that specific point in time. Helps in analyzing the log file later, we can see exactly where there was um, something that we want to focus on. Choose stop, the log file save the file. Next one down the list is map switching. It's a race one feature and this particular Civic's been set up for four different map switch modes. We've got a low octane, high octane, race fuel, and the economy mode. We can swap between the map switch modes, simply selecting them on the mobile device. And the rev counter moves, showing us which map switch mode we've currently selected. Launch control, this is another race ROM feature. Race ROM launch control, we can adjust the launch RPM with our phone. DTC. This speaks to the engine ECU and shows us if there's any diagnostic trouble codes. We can read them and clear them. Performance analyzer allows us to do 0-30, 0-60, quarter mile maximum speed tests. We can add and remove the test that we'd like to do um, under the settings menu. Once done, new run, it prompts us to stop the vehicle. Once we're ready to go, as soon as you pull away, it starts the test. Once you've achieved all the parameters, then um, it will publish the results and if you don't, if you have to lift off after two seconds, it will automatically save any of the results that we have. Once it's finished, you can choose to save it or share it. Back, custom input. Custom inputs is five new virtual inputs into the ECU. Allows the tuner to set up um, special features using sliders, switches, uh, numerical values, and momentary buttons. In this particular example, custom inputs, we've set up a slider for traction control, one for boost control, uh, a throttle response map, also fail-safe protection, and a valet mode. If we look at traction control, the factory traction control is normally quite aggressive. Any hint of wheel slip and it will pull back the throttle. If we disable the factory traction control, then we can now use race ROM to adjust the traction control on the vehicle for the current conditions. Maybe we're racing, maybe we're on a track day, 
We can minimize it so it's not going to do anything. We can do a burnout if we want. Or we can turn it right up and get very aggressive traction control. And this can be used, we can set up a throttle multiplier or ignition control um, or a factor of both really. It's down to the tuner how he chooses to calibrate it. Next one is boost control. On this turbocharged Honda Civic that we have here, actuated pressure is about 0.4 bar and the tuner's configured it so that we can turn the boost pressure up from 0.4 up to 1.2 bar. So using an external wastegate solenoid that's controlled using race ROM closed loop boost control, the user can simply turn the boost pressure up and down on his mobile device. Throttle response gives us four different throttle settings that we've pre-configured. We've got a, an economy mode, we've got a regular mode, sport mode and a race mode. This is the relationship between the accelerator pedal and the throttle pedal. Go back, fail safe protection, we've set up so if the car runs lean um, on full boost pressure that it could reduce the throttle opening. So if the car's running lean at high speed, we're not going to damage the engine. You can also set it up for oil temperature, fuel pressure. Um, you could set it up for coolant temperature. All of these features can be configured using custom maps and then just turn on and off using custom inputs in ECU Connect. And the final one is a valet mode. Valet mode is not a standard feature for the Honda Civic, but we can create a valet mode. So if you're leaving the car with somebody, maybe airport parking or a restaurant, you can just enable the valet mode feature to stop anybody abusing the car while it's out of your care. These are just some of the features that are possible using custom inputs, custom maps and ECU Connect. In this custom inputs example, we've set up some, um, some different things that we can do. You can see the top one there has been configured to control the intake camshaft. So using the slider, we can advance and retard the cam time in line. So you can lock the car on the dyno, full load, and adjust the camshaft to see when we're going to get maximum power output. Next one is a speed density, uh, a VE calibration. So this could be used to increase, decrease the volumetric efficiency using the race ROM speed density um, function. Next one, ignition timing. We can advance and retard the ignition timing using custom inputs. Next one's quite a trick. Um, we could turn on and off the VTEC when we want. Literally, we could be driving down the road, bang on the VTEC, sound changes, and turn it on and off again when we want. Bit of a gimmick, but we can do it. We can do it with ECU Connect. And the final one, forced induction car, maybe you fit water injection. Car's running hot, you want that extra bit of safety, then you can turn on and off the water injection or the nitrous using ECU Connect. Here we have another example, custom inputs, what can be achieved, what your tuner can do, um, using custom maps and ECU Connect. So you can see on the top one here, we've got event selector. When we choose this, we can go in, we've set up four different conditions, one for road, one for rally, one for race, and one for drag. The tuner has the ability to set up calibrations for the different, different features. Next one along, overboost mode. We can simply enable or disable an overboost on a turbocharged model. Pops and bangs, we can turn up and down the pops and bangs using the slider. Ignition retard and fuel in adjustments. Next one is a momentary switch. We push and hold, it says flames. We could set up rev limit, um, fuel enrichment, ignition retard, on and off using, using the flames button. And the final one is a valet mode. We can turn off, on and off valet mode, um, pre-configured by the tuner to limit the vehicle speed and the power output when it's not in our care. These are all features that we can do using ECU Connect, custom inputs and custom apps.